Almost half the world's test tube babies were produced in the laboratories of the people around this table. The new technique for creating these babies, in vitro fertilization, or IVF, has raised far-reaching ethical problems for doctors and scientists. But much of their thinking has remained private. To reveal it, they here take part in a case study set in the imaginary St. Jude's Hospital Fertility Clinic. The moderator is Jeffrey Robertson. It's the fifth birthday, ladies and gentlemen, of the first test tube baby born at St. Jude's Hospital. So, of course, we're all celebrating down at our local pub, the Egg and Surrogate, when suddenly the door flies open and a police officer rushes in. There's been a break-in at the fertility clinic. The incubator door is wide open. There are test tubes with dirty water strewn all over the room. They're your test tubes, Dr. Parsons. What's in them? Early human embryos. Early embryos? Looks like late embryos to me, sir. These embryos have demised, ceased to be. Died, would you say? Yes, died. Gone to meet their maker, which I suppose is you. What, uh, I'll have to make a report about this. What description would you give an early embryo? Any birthmarks, any red hair, arms or legs? I would describe it just as a few cells, a group of cells together. Few cells? What, like we put our prisoners in? No, small dots, minute particles of human matter. And what do these small cells do? They link together and they have the potential for developing into a human. They link together and multiply? That's right. Small cells that multiply? Sounds like the militant tendency, Michael Meacher. <laughs> They're your potential constituents. Is that how you see them? If they are uh, permitted to finally to emerge as human beings at a considerable stage later, but I don't think the militant tendency is quite like that. Well, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> is there any crime that's been committed here? A man in a balaclava was seen speeding away from the clinic in a fast car. If I catch him, what do I charge him with? There's no crime, Scott Baker, of embryo slaughter or...